What's up, navigation traders? Welcome to today's Trade Hacker Update. Today's Thursday, July 30th. Before I jump into the charts, don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure you save your spot for the upcoming Day Trading for Options web class. It is August 6th at 4 p.m. Central. Just go to navigationtrading.com slash daytrading dash registration. Sorry, we could have probably made that URL a little bit easier for you, but we, you know, we want to make you work for it. But anyway, you'll come to this page. Just put in your name and email to save your spot. August 6th, 4 p.m. We're going to talk about our number one day's trading strategy called the Mighty 90 because we only trade at the first 90 minutes of the day and then you're done trading. Wins over 70% of the time, specific turning points in the market, in the specific stocks. It's real, It's a simple strategy. We're buying puts and calls, no spreads, no adjustments. It's uh, it's very simple to learn. I've, I've taught a couple people who had very little trading experience and they were able to catch on very quickly. So if you're an advanced trader, even better. If you're not, it is still going to be awesome. Uh, best way to trade this strategy in a small account, no uh, account size issues. Uh, as little as a couple thousand dollars, as long as you can have a, you know, a margin or a cash account. And then we'll talk about the pattern day trader loophole that allows you to trade unlimited day trades, regardless of your account size. Super excited about this. This is one of the coolest strategies we've ever taught and it's been super profitable. So hope to see you there. Navigationtrading.com slash day trading dash registration. Check it out. All right, let's go to thinkorswim. The market is getting ready to close in about one minute. So we've got some earnings announcements. Let's go over yesterday's first. Let's go over, so AMD, talked about this on yesterday's video. It opened up above the expected move. And what do we typically see when that happens? The price continues to grind sideways to higher. It did just that. We booked a nice profit on that trade just overnight. Now we put on a couple others that haven't fared as well, one of which is Shopify. However, it is coming back. It just had to come back down here and test the pre-earnings number, and then it bounced hard off of that. So if we can get up, up above this line tomorrow, we will also book a profit in Shopify. And then uh, the other one that we did was Starbucks. Same thing. Starbucks isn't as favorable. There's a closing bell. But it did come down, and, and it bounced hard today. So if we can if we can jump up above this line, it's not that far of a move, about a half percent or so from where it's currently trading. If we can get above that tomorrow, we'll book a, a profit in that one as well. So we'll see what happens in those. So those were yesterday's post earnings plays. We didn't do any overnight trades, but tonight after the bell, after the bell that you just heard, we've got a few stocks announcing. First of which is Facebook. So Facebook actually moved theirs, and I'm going to put this on a five-minute chart so we can actually see what's going on after hours here. So Facebook was supposed to actually announce yesterday, you can see, but they actually they pushed it out to today. So we're going to see the price. This is a five-minute chart, so we're going to see the, pr the price start jumping around as soon as that announcement comes out. And it looks like, yeah, there it goes. They're starting to move. So we've got Facebook announcing right now. We've got Amazon. Let's go to Amazon, A-M-Z-N. You can just click it right here. Uh, so it's actually, so it's, looks like it may not be, maybe it's not for another hour. We'll see what happens. Looks like it's at uh, 4 p.m. Central. Market closes at 3 p.m. Central. So we may not get to see the action here on this recording, but look for that. So Amazon announces after the bell right now. And then also Google, our friend Goog, G-O-O-G. Big rally today. NASDAQ started off weak, is down, and then it really just ripped higher. This is Google. Look at you know, Amazon did the same thing, and then it kind of chopped around and, and started a little bit lower. And then Facebook also already looked at, but let's look at what the price action was. Yeah, same thing as Google. It just started low and ripped high. So we'll see how it uh, how it reacts to these earnings. And then the other one that's announcing is GILD. You can see this is basically trading sideways. Now, GILD is a biotech. Earnings aren't always the biggest announcement for them. It's more the FDA approvals, but we'll see what happens if there's anything enlightening with GILD. So those are the earnings. So what else did we do today? Well, I mentioned we closed out our AMD trade. 
Let's see. Oh, we added a... Oh, yeah. So so in Amazon, here's what we've got going for this earnings trade. We did a what we call our earnings iron duck. So basically, as long as... Let's see if we go to our analyze tab. So 28.68 is the downside. So if we draw that here, got to squeeze this a little bit more. 28.68, oh, even more. Oh, there it is. Okay, I already drew it. So here is Amazon can get all the way down to here. So if Amazon rips higher, we will we'll, we'll make a couple hundred bucks. No matter how high it goes, we'll make a couple hundred bucks. That We call that our beak profit on an iron duck. If it goes down, the expected move is right here. Well, price can go all the way down beyond the expected move, all the way down to this for us to break even. So we have a huge buffer to the downside. Uh, and, and anywhere we hit kind of in this area is going to be max profit. And then if it rips higher, we will book a profit as well. A smaller profit, but I think it's, uh, what do we got here? Per contract, $710 is our max profit and $210 is our beak profit. So no matter how high it goes, we'll book 210 bucks. If it lands in this sweet spot right here, we'll book around 710 and our break even is right here. So good chance of some profits in Amazon, uh, as long as it doesn't just implode to the downside, we should, uh, we should do good there. So hopefully that is the case. We will see what happens. And then we've also got a weekly double calendar and SPX will be taking off tomorrow. And so that's all we got. Day trading is going well. Uh, I've been trading smaller symbols lately just because I want to get used to those for when we start teaching the class on August 6th because I know a lot of people will start with smaller symbols. So, you know, didn't this week I haven't traded any Amazon or Tesla or anything like that. So trying to keep that position size really small, doing well, just booking some small winners. And it's been very, very consistent. So look forward to it. Again, uh, make sure you register. Navigationtrading.com slash daytrading dash registration. Get signed up. Save your spot. It's going to be fun stuff. See you then.